These are five reasons why you should not go to a coding bootcamp and why it might not be the best choice to get into the tech industry. Number one is pretty self-explanatory. If you don't enjoy working with technology, you're not going to do well in this field. In the coding bootcamp, you have to be spending 80 hours a week in front of a computer working with tech, and then the rest of your career, you're going to have to be spending at minimum at least 40 hours a week. If you don't enjoy this, you're not going to do well, and you're not going to be able to persist through the hard times. So number two is influences from family and friends. If your family and or friends told you, oh, this is a good career, oh, this is a cool thing to do, and you go into it with only this as a purpose, you're probably not gonna do that well. Also, if your parents are paying for this, chances are you probably aren't gonna have the motivation to actually get through it. It's really, really tough. And for example, there were a few times where I just wanted to give up. It was really, really hard, but I knew I could not give up because I had paid my own money to go do this and I really wanted to get through and find a career I actually enjoyed. I would say it's ultimately up to you to decide what reasons you're doing it and why you should go into it. But for me, it was because I wanted a career I enjoyed, I wanted something that was engaging, and I also wanted something that was high paying. Money is definitely not the number one purpose. It should be a side effect of why you go do something. Number three is that you can't take the time off to devote yourself to something like this. Now, there are remote part-time programs that can go up to 12 months, but there are also the three to six month programs where you give up everything and you just do it all at once. I personally preferred the 80 hours a week, three month program because I could just get everything done in three months and really move on to finding a job. If you can't build a routine, you'll also set yourself up for failure. This is really, really crucial when going to the coding bootcamp is coding every single day or at least six out of the seven days a week if you want to get good. There's also a lot of stress in this program and you'll need to figure out how to deal with that. If you can't take time to do that, you'll also not do well. Number four is that it's really, really expensive. Costs range between 10,000 and 30,000 due to a bunch of different factors and how you choose to pay and how long the coding bootcamp is. But ultimately, there's no guarantee that you'll get a job. And if it's that expensive and you put that money up front with no guarantee, that could be a pretty big risk. Also, keep in mind that the stats the boot camps put out, like a 99% placement rate in six months, it's complete BS. They've manufactured those, they found loopholes to be able to present those stats truthfully, even though it's not. Boot camps employ their own grads to help teach their courses after the fact, and they get to bundle that into their job stats. Number five, and I'm serious about this one, you can learn everything on your own. Now, if you check out Free Code Camp, they have a whole curriculum devoted to web development where you can basically learn everything and more that was taught in a coding bootcamp and go get a job that way. Now, this takes a lot more discipline and focus and you needing to create your own environment, but if you can pull it off, you've basically done this for free. There are also some great courses on sites like Udemy, Coursera, or even front-end masters if you're focused on web dev, they're usually pretty inexpensive, at least more inexpensive than the coding bootcamp itself. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and shoot a comment down below with why you're hesitant about going to a coding bootcamp or not. If you're interested in learning more about coding bootcamps, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Before I went to a coding bootcamp, I was able to reach out to bootcamp grads, and I ended up chatting on the phone with a few of them for about an hour, and I really got to see if this was right for me or not. Without their help, I don't know if I could have made a decision objectively, so I'm totally willing to pay it forward and help others out. Lastly, make sure to check out my other video, Five Reasons to Go to a Coding Bootcamp. I thought I'd give both sides in order to help people make an objective decision about going to one of these.